Jaxila in the Rawalpindi district of Punjab province of Pakistan is the site of the ruins of one of the world's earliest universities, destroyed in the 5th century AD. Today's Jaxila's farming communities fear another kind of loss, that of their livelihoods, and judging by recent patterns of rainfall, their fears are well justified. Here the term climate change has a special significance and Taxila's farmers are witnessing its meaning at first hand. Farmer Atak Nadim has faced four dry winters since October 2008, so deciding whether to sow wheat in September 2012 was a difficult choice for him. He says he was really caught in a cold wave of uncertainty. Nadim owns 25 acres in Shahpur village on suburbs of the historic town of Taxila, some 23 kilometers northwest of Islamabad. Pakistan's capital city. He fears that all his hard work would be in vain, yet again, causing him and his family more economic losses. But with no other options to earn a living, the 34-year-old risked preparing his seven acres and planted his wheat seed in mid-November. Clearing his field of weeds, Atit Nadim said that sowing wheat seed last October was a risk and was just a blind leap of faith. आज से तकरीबन चार साल पीछे जाए, चार पांच साल पीछे जाए। हमारी जो ज़मीनें थी, ये सारी बारानी इलाके पे का इंसार है। तो ये बारिश ना होने की वजह से पहले किसानों ने बार-बार मतलब कोशिश की है कि शायद अगले साल बारिश हो जाए, तो हमारा जो नुकसान हुआ है ये पूरा हो जाए। लेकिन इसी तरह करते-करते चार but this winter, luck favored many farmers like Nadim when rain arrived in the first week of December last year, turning his stress to exuberance. This is what a risk that maybe the rain will happen. We are sure that the will उसके बाद आप जाके इस बार सन 2013 में ये बारिशें हुई हैं तो इस बार काफी लोगों को फायदा हुआ है मतलब फसल अच्छी हुई है सफा के साम खुश हैं कि बारिशें हुई हैं और उनको जो है नुकसान नहीं हुआ फायदा हुआ है 63 year old farmer Sultan Ali says erratic weather patterns have put many farmers of the area in a quandary about cultivating traditional crops. Climatic stress, particularly drought and rising temperatures, have reduced yields and caused crops to underperform in recent years and have resulted in fluctuating outputs. So, it's been a lot of difference. In these two years, the two years ago, 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 इंसान के लोग में तो नहीं होता कि अंदाज़ छह महीने में क्या होगा इसलिए अल्लाह के आश्रय पे हम बीज डाल देते हैं ज़मीनों में अगर अच्छा मौसम हो अच्छा समय हो जाए तो फसल अच्छी हो जाती है अगर ना हो जाए तो हम किसानों का नुकसान ही होता है और तो कुछ भी Because of insufficient rains, there has been a rise in the number of tube wells in the area, which have depleted reserves of underground water for agriculture purposes. Maize farmer Kadir Khan in nearby Karamwal village says what he used to grow with rainwater he is now cultivating using underground water for which he has to rely on a tube well. For many farmers like him, tube wells are an extra financial burden because of the cost of having to buy diesel fuel. Weather scientists at the Pakistan Meteorological Department in Islamabad say that for the last five years, rainfall in the country, particularly in rain-fed areas like Taxila, has been delayed until January. The winter rains have traditionally come in the second week of December, started to become disturbed almost 10 years ago. Pakistan Meteorological Department, where the scientist Gulam Rasul linked this winter's rain, colder temperatures across the Middle East and China, 
As a result, westerly winds have moved along lower latitudes, bringing large amounts of rain and snow to Pakistan, but there is no guarantee of good rains in the next few years. Rasul pointed out that further projections based on climate models indicate that amount of rainfall is likely to drop in early winter during the coming winter seasons. Therefore, there is a high probability that relatively dry conditions will prevail in November and December in the coming years, creating continued anxiety for farmers. Salim Sheikh for Sider.net, Taxila, Pakistan.